finishing up with today's vlog, I'm really excited to show you guys the end result of what we did today. Uh, today came from a request. The problem is I cannot find the request anywhere uh, on YouTube or anywhere that it was, but the request came from someone awesome, so thank you for that. Um, and the request was for this haircut. It's the Jamie Alexander haircut from Blind Spot. So real quick, I wanna break down my thoughts on how we're gonna accomplish this cut. And uh, so let's get started with that real quick. Hang on. Okay, so this is the haircut breakdown that I wanna give you guys. I wanna show you because when you look at a magazine, a lot of times it's hard to tell what's going on with the haircut. So not only did I look at this magazine cover to base my thoughts on the haircut, but I also looked her up through Google. I looked, I watched scenes from the show so I could see exactly what her hair was doing because if a guest asks for this, it doesn't mean I understand what's happening uh, throughout the entire head. The other thing that I look at is how are the layers falling? because this is a graduation, but it also has a lot of layering within the haircut. So let's just look at the, the overall shape of the haircut and how much layering is in it. I see layers all the way up into here. Now, I see layers up there, but it also has a little bit of a wave to it. So that means that that layer probably sits a little bit below her parietal ridge. I don't wanna go too short with the layering. A lot of us could get a little layer crazy and we don't want that to happen. Um, when I go through and I do my cutting, I'm gonna base everything uh, on this plane, which might be kinda hard to see, Bear with me guys. So this plane right here is where I'm separating the bottom part of the head to the top part of the head. All of this hair, I'm gonna cut straight down at the bottom. So no elevation, uh, cutting right here at the chin line. It's gonna allow me to choose the length of the hair that I want. As I work up the rest of the head, once I get past that point and I'm pulling out this hair, then I'm gonna start my layering process, which is gonna come around the round of the head. So you'll see all that happening. And then on the weak side, I'm going to start um, a vertical layer right in this point right here. So I'm gonna go one length all the way up until this point to get as much weight as I can in this area. And then I'm gonna start pulling the hair straight out and layering it at that point. All right guys, so I hope that, that makes sense. I hope I didn't completely confuse everyone. The good thing is we got a whole step-by-step -step to go. So let's get started with that. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by taking a left-hand side parting. Um, this is a little bit above parietal ridge, but still kind of a deep left-hand side part. Um, you really base that on your guess. So just know that in this haircut, we are doing a celebrity-based haircut, but that doesn't mean you'll do this exact haircut on your guests, definitely customize it to them. So now I'm gonna go through, you're gonna notice I cut that blunt line at zero degrees elevation, just using my comb for tension, um, doing the same thing on the opposite side. I wanna start building a nice heavy base. The great thing about cutting at zero degrees below the occipital bone is that it pretty much creates that 45 degree angle for you um, because of the head shape. So we're working through starting to build that foundation. Notice that I'm using the point of my scissor. I, I decided to go with a scissor instead of a razor on this cut, but I'm giving it a razored effect. So I'm going through point cutting through every single section using my DB20 scissor. This is a five and a half inch scissor. It's got a really strong uh, blade on it. So I'm going through there and just working that jagged edge throughout the haircut. I love this haircut because of the PC texture that it has. So I want to keep that in mind when I'm doing this haircut. Not every haircut has to have nice blunt lines. So now you can see how I took that diagonal forward section uh, or parting through there. And now I'm just going through cutting at, again, zero degree elevation, no tension at all, um, letting the hair fall naturally and uh, just working that line across the cheekbone and then really just cutting the hair as it falls. I wanna cut this more of a square shape um, around the head. So in the back, I over direct it back towards me and on the sides, I. I keep the elevation down and I cut my square horizontal line there. Now I'm shifting into vertical sections. The reason I'm going vertical now is I want to focus on weight removal. I want to create those layers. So right around parietal ridge, the top of the section, I just want to soften the way that the hair falls. So when you look at, if I were to cut that entire um, side section blunt, it would be way too heavy. So I'm just rounding off the edge um, and softening the, the weight distribution on the side of the head. So she gets that layer feel. Uh, now I'm going to work the other side, uh, working horizontal, 
and you could really see the elevation now um, and how high I'm lifting it. It builds in such a nice shape. So just base this on the density, guys. Don't don't look at the elevation that I'm doing and say that's exactly what I need to do. Look at the elevation that. Uh, that you need for your guest. So if your guest has really thick hair, you may have to elevate a little bit more, remove a little bit more of that weight. Just depends on the shape you're trying to build in the back. Continuing that diagonal forward section, just like I did on the opposite side, going through cutting zero tension and uh, just working my scissor across. Um, this is another preference. So if your guest wants to have the hair go up towards their uh, jawbone, it can fit perfectly there. You can really customize where you want that length to sit. So working up to that parietal ridge, um, combing everything down, keeping no elevation. Again, I want to build a strong baseline. This is a key thing because a lot of, uh, if you notice how the hair works, obviously it drops down further in the nape of the neck. So it's a thicker density in the back of the head than it is on the side of the head. So going through there, cutting uh, more of a blunt line in the side of the head and then going through now and layering with the round of the head. So think about this as pretty much 90 degrees, uh, maybe a slight bit lower towards the top of the section, but we're just working that round of the head because in the pictures that you see of uh, Jamie's haircut, I'm saying Jamie like I know her, uh, Jamie Alexander's haircut is that uh, it has that kind of round layered feel to the whole haircut. So I really love um, the, the way that those layers fall uh, on her head shape. So still working diagonal back, following the round of the head. This is where we talk about round haircutting because this will help the hair kind of flow backwards. Uh, there's really no over direction in this part of the cut. So um, just going through, working all the way to the hairline. Still point cutting, you'll notice I'm still trying to create that kind of jagged edge, textured feel to the haircut. Then we're actually going to go in and create more texture in the dry cut. So that's the last little bit. Now don't worry about that disconnection in the front, that's on purpose. So uh, we're going to go in and cut that in a little bit. Finishing up the blow dry, I use my Ergo paddle brush, which I love. I talk about it in every uh, video. My Vibra Straight Iron uh, going through there and just polishing it up. This is to get it ready for dry cutting. This is not to get it ready for the end result. Now I'm going in with my Mizutani Type Z dual texture scissor. This is the texture scissor that I keep in my case at all times um, because there's no full blade in this scissor. It's all teeth. So it gets a, it has a nice slide through the hair. There's no blade to get tangled up on it. So what hair that it cuts, it cuts. And the hair that it doesn't, there's nothing, there's no friction in there. So you can just slide through the hair really nice. So I really like that, that scissor. And what I'm doing is just going through and softening the ends. So this is sort of like point cutting, but it's just a simple way to go in and just soften the ends and not take out too much weight. Now what I'm going to do is I want to match up this side. So... We did have more um, more hair coming through, so I'm going to take my dual texture scissor and just uh, chop at it. And it doesn't take long, but you just kind of work the texture scissor back and forth until you get completely through the hair. What that's going to do is give me that shattered edge uh, as opposed to going through and doing it with a blunt scissor. So cool technique to try and uh, works really well. And that is our finished cut. All right, so there's one thing that's missing that's definitely hair color. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you the end result. All right, so hair color's done. I used a 3A, uh, 3 Ash to uh, really just give it that smoky feel. Um, I think it matches up really well with what Jamie Alexander's hair color looks like and gives you guys more of a visual of the, um, the end result. So I'm going through with my Paul Mitchell Neuro Wand Iron and uh, just working the hair around it. And then I grab my Bricado Carve uh, Texture Cream, which I use in a lot of my shorter haircuts because it just adds that kind of pieciness and texture. And then we use a light hairspray just to give it that effect. Now this is that more straight effect. Now I'm gonna go in and do more of a kind of wet, messy look, which was in the magazine and tuck it behind the ear. That seems to be a, a pretty big trend for what she does when, when they style her hair. Um, you can see it in the magazine here. and that is our end result there pretty similar let me know what you think in the comments and if you like it
Thanks. All right, guys, so that is the end of this step-by-step. -step. Thank you for hanging in there. Post in the comments if you did, uh, if you made it this far, I love seeing that. And also, uh, make sure you check out freesaloneducation.com. We got a ton of tools and cool stuff uh, on there for you guys if you wanna purchase it. Also, um, let me know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see next, uh, whether it's a haircut, men's cut, um, whatever. I'm always open for new ideas and I wanna keep this going. So thank you guys so much for checking out the videos every day and following along. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.